Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Old Car Auto Guy. I'm Jason. Today, we're giving you a channel update on a lot of different things that are happening around the lot, so stay tuned. So one thing that I want to bring to your attention is this. Here's Bubbles sitting here looking all dapper, unexploded. And the reason why is twofold. One, the weather has not been cooperative. And two, we have done so much these last few weekends and through, through the week that we've been so busy and we haven't had a chance to get out there yet. But I know that I can buy some time because you guys haven't got me to 2,000 subscribers yet. And that's when the, the video of me blowing up bubbles is gonna get released. So I really need your help, guys. Come on, let's get this channel up to 2,000 subscribers so that we can get bubbles blown up, get that video released, and hopefully that video makes my channel big, makes it explode, and brings people to it. So as we come through the lot here today, I'm gonna to show you a couple of things that have been going on over the last couple of days since my sales guy, Bill, has been on vacation. Firstly, this was a short week. Because of Canada Day on Monday, we're only open Tuesday to Friday. So that meant when I come in to work on Tuesday, it got busy. Normally, Bill and I can work off of each other when one's busy, the other one kind of kicks in and vice versa. Well, this week I don't have Bill. I do have my dad, uh, but dad's not very, very fluent when it comes to using the computer. So I can't rely on him too much for that. But he does do a little bit of running for me as far as getting vehicles gassed up, cleaned up, uh, you know, run into motor vehicle if needed, stuff like that. So, here's what's going on this week. The little black 2009 Chevy Aveo that was sitting here, the one that we did the headlight restoration kit a while back, is gone. We sold that yesterday. Actually, Dad sold that. I had to do the paperwork up for him, granted, but nevertheless, he put that deal together and we got that car sold. Also, the 2014 Nissan Versa Note that sat right here, the little light blue one, as you can see, it is gone. We had customers come in uh, last Friday. We did up an application and we got that going. We got them approved and they are gone. We've been paid for that vehicle. So they are happy and uh, she does a lot of traveling. So that low mileage car is really gonna do the trick for her. And last but not least for sales is the 2011 Chevy Cruze that is right here behind me. I made a deal on that yesterday as well. We've done all the paperwork, we've collected the money, and it will be going out likely about mid-afternoon today. So there's three vehicles in one day. We call that a hat trick around here. So that's what's going on around the shop as far as sales go since Bill has gone. I got a couple of other deals that I'm working on. Not sure how good they're gonna be or how close I'm gonna be to getting them sold because uh, they're a little bit challenging. But nevertheless, we are working on that and we're hoping to get a couple more vehicles out by the end of the week. As we come into the shop, we do have a couple of new vehicles that we just purchased this week as well. So we've got this 2014 Jeep Compass. This has 99,000 kilometers and it is all wheel drive. Basically, the only thing that we're gonna have to do to it is four tires. It still has the winter tires on it. So we're gonna put some all seasons on there and uh, we're just kind of going over things like, like we normally would on any other vehicle. And as we come over here, we've got the 2010 Chevy Cobalt. This is a coupe, it's automatic, it's an LT, it's got the wheels, the fog lights, and it's loaded up really nice. Granted, it still has a few little issues, they're all cosmetic. There's a few scrapes in the bottom of the bumper, there's a piece out of the front bumper that's actually missing. It does have a couple of dents on the A-pillar here. Uh, not sure what's going on there. My guess is someone's chipping away the ice in the wintertime, hitting it a little bit too hard, but the wheels, the original wheels are in really, really good shape. On these Chevy Cobalts and Pontiac G5s, those wheels are never in that kind of shape this late in the game. Now we do have a young fellow that is looking for a car. He's only looking to spend about five grand uh, and he wanted something that was uh, low mileage. This one here, I believe only has about 120 something thousand kilometers on it. So that's less than 100,000 miles. And uh, we're gonna fix these cosmetic issues and hopefully be able to uh, get this to him uh, in not so costly of a fashion. Um, 
It does have one of those fart can mufflers on it, so all you Honda Civic guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the, uh, we've got to fix that front bumper on it as well. Maybe we'll see if we can find a used one cheaper than buying a new one and having to paint it. Uh, but nevertheless, mechanically, uh, it seems to be sound. The brakes are all new. Uh, there's not a squeak or a rattle in it. So we're just going to do the oil change, go over the brakes, and uh, you know, fix up some of these cosmetic things and get this sold. Now, one other thing that I wanted to bring up here too is that uh, there's a fellow that I follow here. He's a smaller channel, and his channel is called The Maintenance Man. And I'm going to put it up here as well as a link in the description box below so you guys can go check it out. On his Instagram, he had announced that he was doing a contest on one of his videos. So I went over there and made a comment, watched the video like I would anyways, and I got an Instagram message saying that I had won a prize. Well, what did I win? I won this nine piece hook and pick set. And I think that's pretty good because we just bought one of these for the shop and I don't have one at home. And I know how convenient they can be when it comes to trim pieces and or working away at little things uh, on projects. So thanks a lot maintenance man for getting that out to me. I really appreciate that and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to win some prizes and uh, guys again if you haven't followed him go over to Instagram he's there as well and on YouTube and the links are in the description box below. As of right now I still have not done anything else to the exhaust on grandma. I think I'm just going to drive it for a while and see if it's something that may get a little bit louder over time because if it does that's fine. If it doesn't, then I can always do a little bit more. And besides the fact that we've been driving in the rain all week, she's looking pretty good. And as always guys, this video is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. If you haven't checked them out yet, they've got products for all you guys, not just bearded, but you guys who shave. If you've got tattoos, they've got a great tattoo cream and you can get the, that stuff over here at sussexbeard.com. So thank you, Matt White, for sponsoring my beard and this channel and being a great supporter and in turn, I hope that you are succeeding on your end as well. Also, license plates, guys, you know I'm still looking for license plates. I could always use some spare for project wall art. I mentioned it in the last video, again, that I'd like to get that finished up, but I do need some more license plates. If you've got some spares kicking around that you can send to me, I have two addresses, one Canadian, one American. They're in the description box. You can send them to me. I would be greatly appreciated, and I'll even shout you out when I receive them. Car Guy and Six Fan Show is back on the air coming up this week on July the 11th at uh, 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, 9 local time that you can tune in to Straight Six Fan and I will put his name right here as well as his link is always the second one in the description box below. Subscribe to him. He's got some great content on a uh, Ford Fairmont project that he's working on as well as he just bought a new Mustang and uh, he's got some pretty good content on that as well. So if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, go over, check him out, support his channel, and that way you will get notified every time he uploads a new video and when the Car Guy and Six Fan Show starts. Next week, after that, it will be on my channel. So we alternate back and forth between the two of us and uh, that way we each get the opportunity to build and grow our channels. It's about cars. We talk about automotive stuff. We try and help those guys who are watching us that have YouTube channels succeed with some tips and tricks and so on. So it's also a support stream. If you are a part of the YouTube community and you want to help grow your channel, that's the place to be because everybody that watches us generally are car guys. So that's the place to go. Guys, as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. I can feel my body, your cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough, my mind is fixed on what it wants, I just let you beat me, looks can be deceiving, let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy.